King Dum. How's it going dudes? Right, this isn't going to be like a regular energy type video. This isn't going to be hype. This isn't going to be too much excitement. This is just me wanting to sit and talk with you, the community, the people that really matter around here. Because without you guys, the channel's nothing, you know. Um, the things I want to talk about today are just some stuff that's kind of getting to me a little bit on the channel. Stuff that I want to change, stuff that I have been changing, um, and really just to talk to you guys about it, because it's kind of frustrating me. Um, and I'm starting to feel a little bit locked in to making certain types of content, and that's not the best way to do YouTube, you know? The best way to do it is to enjoy it, which is why, why I switched over to doing VR only. Um, before then, I don't know if you, you, some of you may know this, some of you probably don't. Before then, I did a lot of Let's Plays and stuff like that, and um, sort of wacky, weird videos. Uh, so yeah, I made the switch to VR, which made me really happy, um, and still does. I loved, I love VR. I love doing VR. It's it's good for me. It's good for the channel. It's just fun, um, and it opens up a lot of avenues for me, just for character exploration and doing voices and doing all the things I love doing, basically. Um, so I'm not regretting that. Don't worry. <laughs> VR is still here to stay is a huge part of the channel and it will always be a huge part of the channel and that is that. But what, what I am getting a bit fed up with is I'm feeling a bit locked in as in the type of videos that I can make now. I feel like at this point, unless I am beating someone's head in, then the video won't do well, you know? Which is a really weird place to be in. Uh, if I don't have some form of brutality <laughs> in the video then it feels like people don't want to watch it you know but then i release a video like house flipper the other day and it does really well and i don't have an explanation for for why you know and it's just crazy to me you know i don't want to feel like i have to make like violent crazy content i'm not saying i don't want to ever make that kind of content because i do I, I love you know some of the bone work stuff i make cracks me up it's hilarious Loads of fun. I feel like I'm a bit locked into making uh, blood trail videos at the moment, so I think um, I might give that a rest for a bit, which is going to be to the detriment of the channel because, quite frankly, it's the most popular thing that I do on the channel. And I know some of you are going to be bummed out about it, but the thing is, if you care about the channel and you want it to succeed, Making stuff that's constantly getting demonetized is honestly just dragging the channel's name through the dirt and it's getting a little frustrating making stuff that's constantly getting demonetized because I don't really care about the money to be honest. I mean I do, <laughs> of course I do, everyone cares about money, but I don't, it's not just about the money, you know, it's not why I'm doing it because I just want monetizable videos, it's because you kind of, I'm finding myself now on the channel blacklist. I'm pretty sure that this exists. I've heard other people speak of it over the years and I'm pretty sure that this channel is well there. I swear, I'm not family friendly, I'm violent. So it's, it's not really YouTuber material anymore, you know? Five years ago, yeah, that would have done great. <laughs> Still currently, it would still do great, and I'm not like I'm not saying that I'm just gonna suddenly make these fucking lardy da videos where I don't swear or don't be crazy or don't do the brutal craziness anymore. It's just saying that maybe I don't want to do that all the time. You know, I don't want to just be locked into that content, and I've kind of been trying to break away from it. Like the last few weeks, I've really tried to do stuff that's different. Um, next week, we have a massive community driven thing going on where I want you guys to pick the videos and I will play whatever you guys ask me to. Uh, if you don't know about that there is you know go to the community tab there's a link there you can either drop your suggestions of your games down in here or, or in there um, for that which will be fun 
I always love to see what you guys want to see me to play, and it kind of surprises me. I mean, last time that we did this, the community week, it surprised me that actually not every game that I was going to play was going to be insanely brutal somewhere. Excuse me, phone. So yeah, I, I don't know, man. And the other thing is I've been really trying to do some of this other stuff lately, like the monthly news, um, VR news. Uh, I've been trying to do like my top 10 lists and some other fun bits that I, I just wanted to delve into uh, and sort of experiment with for the channel, you know, see what I can do differently. Not just making VR content, but content about VR instead. I don't know. It was fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it doesn't get the most views, but at the same time, it doesn't do the worst. And I enjoy the process of making it, which is really important to me. So yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking a lot about this lately, and I just want to make. I want to make the change. I really want this channel to work. You know, I've wanted this to work for all the years that I've put into it. Um, you know, clearly we haven't had the boom where we've just taken off yet, doesn't mean it will never happen, but I feel like it's a lot less likely to happen while I'm just focused on making kind of brutal content, you know? So, I don't know, I don't want to lose you guys, and I, I think every creator can speak for this one, but when you change something drastically on a channel, you're kind of risking losing the whole community, which is, you know, a big threat. The other thing that I've been thinking about lately is not making a video every day. Um, I'm not saying that there won't be times when I'll still put out sort of five videos a week, but sometimes it feels like I'm making content for the sake of putting a video. Um, and then it does crappy, and I'm like, well, why did I even bother, you know? So it's kind of frustrating. I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to be sort of a downer on it. I just... Sometimes I feel like it's... I feel like we're getting there, you know? And I'm like, yes, man, we're getting... We're, the numbers are going up. <laughs> the comment numbers are going up. The likes are going up everything's rising in the right direction and then suddenly we just go stagnant for a couple of weeks and no one's around and the comments are going down and the likes are going down and it just I think well, am, I, am I making shit content is it am I doing this wrong you know and in my head I'm thinking well I'm making the stuff that I think people want to see and I think that's where I'm going wrong I don't want to do that anymore and it's this is again I'm not saying that I'll never do boneworks or or blood trail or any of these videos ever again. I'm just saying that for now, I don't want to focus on it having to be Monday blood trial. Make sure you get some freaking uh, bone works in there. Make sure you get some flipping. Have to get a, a whatever it's called blood and blade and sorcery. You know, video out. You know, I don't want to do that. I want to do it because I want to do it, and that's that will be the difference. You know, and I noticed a lot of this when I did the community week last time, which was. The drive in me was like a hundred times more powerful because I was like, yeah, they want to see this. The guys and gals out there of the kingdom, they want this. So it suddenly like invigorated me and I was like, yeah, I'm going to make the best thing I can possibly make, you know? And that's the thing that I've, I'm missing at the moment. I'm kind of missing that feeling. So I'm kind of thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick what I want, when I want, and roll with it that way for a little bit. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean that I will just get, drop the numbers of videos. It just kind of means that for now, if a video doesn't come out for a day, well then it doesn't come out for a day. Um, if I can't find something, then I'm not going to stress myself out and record a video from two months ago. Like something like a good example of this would be the uh, Hotel R and R video that I did a week or so ago. You know, I made that video. <laughs> because I couldn't find anything to play. And I was just like, you know, well fine, I'll play that. You know, that's gonna tick the boxes. It's violent, it's crazy, it's gonna enable some madness. So, um, 
So I made it and then it did crap. And I was just like, so why did I put it out? You know, pointless. So I think what I'm gonna do is like I say, not necessarily change everything. I will definitively play Blood Trial again when the updates come. Um, but for now, I just, I want a break from it. Um, it's not high on my list of things to do. Man, we've done everything in that game. If you want more Blood Trial, there's like 30, 40, 50 videos of it, you know? And perhaps the channel will start to look up again once I start to remove some of this heavily demonetized content. Um, and then perhaps the channel will start to be a little less blacklisted. Maybe. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I'm sorry to sort of rant on you guys. I just wanted to get this out there. I wanted to talk about it. And you, you're my community, you know? You're the people that I care about. You're the people that I want to be happy with what I'm doing. So I feel like the best way to achieve that is to be honest with you, talk to you, and put it out there. Get it off my chest. Because sometimes it can be kind of torturous. Like, uh, I think any YouTuber will tell you this, man. At some point, you are torturing yourself, probably once a day, about the decisions you made for your videos, for your channel, for what's going on. You get that one comment that will come through that will be like, oh, well, this is kind of, uh, you know, not really what I'm wanting. Or it'll kind of rag on the one bit of the video that was shit, you know. Like, I did a top playing list the other day. And I get one comment and I'm like, uh, well, you know, the, the, the thing you said about this isn't exactly right. And I'm like, yeah, well, fucking great. I mean, I said one thing wrong in a 20 minute video about other stuff. My bad, you know, it gets to you. <laughs> but at the same time, I would like to listen. I listen to the constructive criticism, you know, and I do change things upon people's constructive criticism. I don't listen to everything everyone says, otherwise I would literally never stop trying to please people and that is not healthy. So... That's what this is all about. Basically, I'm gonna do what's right for me. I'm gonna do what's right, I think, for the channel. And I think in doing so, it will give you guys much better quality content that isn't just the same thing over and over again. Me going in, beating the living crap out of people, and then end video. You know, it's gonna be a little bit more substance to it. Like, one of the things I loved doing back in the day on the channel was a lot of more role-playing stuff and making up characters and playing the game as that character. And I still do it with some videos, but I miss that element. I feel like we've lost that now. It's just me fucking beating the crap out of someone, you know? And yeah, it's funny and it's fun. But at the same time, like, I don't want it to be the only kind of content I make. And again, I reiterate, don't call me out on it if I do make one of those videos, because sometimes I do want to make a video like that. I just don't want it to be the five days a week content that comes out. You know, I don't want to look for just the most violent game that I can play because it will please people. So yeah, let me know your comments and opinions down below. If you want this channel to succeed, it's a two-way street. We need as much support as I can to get through what's going to be a bit of a change. Um, I need as much support as I can you know, comments and likes, whether you like it or not. Everyone asks for it, everyone asks you to subscribe and comment and like, but there's a reason for that, it's the YouTube algorithm. The God we're all trying to please as YouTubers, and yeah, I mean, as much as I say it, but seriously, if you care about it, like, it makes a difference. So if you can, I'd really appreciate it. Not just that, but I love that little bit of interaction with you guys anyway. Um, the likes really do make a difference if you can just spend that one second clicking that button on a video That I put hours into it would be the best because honestly it then puts it up the algorithm and people get to see it New Kingdom members, you know um, The channel members membership is still there um, I would love it if you guys would if you're interested, you know supporting the channel it really does help be that via buying merch you know we've got all the merch on the channel now you can see it uh, in the shop tab of the channel or underneath each video it's all there um, if you guys have some specific suggestions of things that you'd like on there or some of my sayings or something like that then let me know you know again community guys you tell me and I'll try and make things happen as much as I possibly can um, other than that man you know your support 
is appreciated for what you do do and I'm just saying that if you know for those of you that don't just consider it it could be beneficial uh, by could be I mean it 100% will be um, and yeah make sure you get those suggestions to me for next week's community thing I want to do a community meetup as well which means um, we're gonna do something I'm gonna get I'm gonna make it work okay I'll get something going for that I've been putting it off for a bit because the heat in this fucking country just keeps going and then I'm like dead I'm dead because this office space you guys don't know about this office but this office is warm as it's disgusting but anyway sorry to do one of these types of videos just a jabber just a talk but I felt like I wanted to just talk to you guys so thank you very much for being a part of this community making the kingdom what it is and um, let's continue to grow let's make this channel into something special together not just brutal videos but just good quality content the game doesn't have to be great just me I'm the great part kidding everything's gotta be good but now all joking aside thank you guys I do love you all and um, yeah back to normal content Except for it won't be. It'll be different because that's what we just spoke about.